Hi, I'm Alice Creswell and just recently in January I shared a video entitled What is Happening Spiritually and I was sharing about the, the fact that I'd heard a voice say to me great change and this was back in November that I heard that and also I got some words from the Lord and he was talking about something happening in the spring. If you haven't watched that video, just go back and, and watch it because it is quite interesting how the Lord showed me stuff. And I've really been asking him, can you show me more about that? Obviously, it's we're February now, spring is in the air, you know, we, we, signs of spring are coming and I want to know what is happening. And um, I just, the Lord's just been reminding me, uh, just completely out of the blue, of a prophetic word that I gave and it must be over 20 years ago now and it was in a church that we you know we grew up in and I was prophesying at the front of church and the Lord gave me a word saying that an outpouring is going to happen something's going to break out at Easter and that was as I say over 20 years ago I shared it and it must have been about the January time of that year and it was a few months to go to Easter and I said as a sign that revival or some kind of outpouring is going to happen at Easter there's going to be a thunderstorm and you're going to know that that word is, is right. Well, months later, and I was a bit nervous about it, months later, Easter came. Good Friday, there was this massive thunderstorm. And then again on Easter Sunday, there was this massive thunderstorm, which is actually quite unusual in the UK to have a thunderstorm like that over Easter time. Um, and But there wasn't like this great outpouring that happened globally. I mean, I just, I hadn't said that. I just prophesied that something was going to happen, some kind of outpouring. What I've come to realise over the years is sometimes when you prophesy things, you might even say a month, and it might not even be the month of the year that you're talking about, that you're, you know, that you're in when you're prophesying, it's another time. But the Lord's been reminding me of that word that I gave, and I really, I'm starting to think, and I'm starting to feel in the spirit, something is happening. I don't know if you can feel it as well, but something is up. Obviously, we're going through quite a massive change globally, worldwide at the moment. And I do believe, you know, we were already in a move of God. The signs are here already. Now, the Lord's also been giving me a phrase, which is Easter uprising. And I'm like, is that connected? Is that this Easter? Is something going to happen? And I really, I just felt more and more the Lord just really prompted me. And, you know, we're, we're coming to Lent and normally we don't really... Um, fast or anything like that in Lent but just this this week the Lord's been put on my heart to do something for Lent and I'm just we've got six or seven weeks to go until Easter and I feel like the Lord is saying to us this is a time of preparation obviously we've been in preparation for many many years but this really is crucial to get in position to get in your in your place whatever your role is what are you called to do now is the time to get into that place don't let anything no distraction or anything stop you this really is a time to go for it. And so uh, maybe I'm just, this is what we're gonna do, it's up to you if you wanna join us, but maybe think over Lent, over these six or seven weeks up to Easter, you know, about positioning yourself, getting your heart ready, getting whatever you need to do to get ready for some kind of outbreak of the Holy Spirit happening around Easter time. And it's, this is about grassroots. I kept seeing these grassroots coming up. It's a grassroots movement of people who are tasting of the powers of the age to come and, and living from that place and I'm thinking about Easter is resurrection power and it's life and you know that Jesus told us that Satan comes to kill and steal and destroy and you know that's in John chapter 10 and we can see all around us that death and destruction are all around and the spirit of death is abounding right now but how much more, you know, the spirit of the, the grace of God and the, you know, we think about Romans 8 where the Apostle Paul talks about the, the law of the spirit of life has set me free, has set us free from the law of sin and death. And no matter how much sin is in the world, no matter how much death is going on and all the things that come with that, with, you know, aging and decaying and illness and ill health and destruction, that the, the law, the spirit of life, and that's what we're talking about here, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of life has set us free from that. And what I'm seeing is that there is this movement, this grassroots uprising happening right now. And we've got to say, are we in or are we out of that? And we are standing up to say, no, here is the spirit of life is here. The kingdom is here. And let's 
release the spirit of life everywhere in our own lives and in those that we meet in everyday life and this is a time of uprising where we say enough is enough we are not going to let the spirit of death we're not going to let the enemy steal anything from us any longer and this is a global movement that is happening right now and i'm just saying that easter it speaks of resurrection it speaks of resurrection life and resurrection power jesus he is the resurrection he is the life and this is a time to get on board right now with what he is doing with, with what the spirit of god is doing he is moving right now and i want to invite you because the lord is giving us all an invitation to step in and if you talk about an uprising it's an ascension we're going up in the spirit we're going up in the spirit realm in the heavenly realms with jesus that's where our home is that's where we belong but also i'm seeing that heavenly armies are on the move and I'm seeing the host of heaven and all these armies in heaven spiritually I'm seeing them coming and they are coming they are mobilized they are coming to our aid they are coming to partner with us and many of us are seeing more and more in the spirit realm we're seeing angels we're interacting with angels more and more and I want to tell you that just take time out just even think okay for the next few weeks until Easter I'm going to take time out every day of my day and I'm going to really get with the Lord and I'm going to I'm going to spend time with him and Lord open my eyes to see in the spirit realm open all my senses to see and to understand and communicate with heaven because we need to partner with heaven right now because God is on the move and I do not want to be one that misses out I want to be one that in Luke 20 it talks about being one that is worthy of um, tasting of the powers and um, what's it say I've written it down somewhere here um, it talks about I don't know, maybe I didn't write it down, but look in Luke 20, you know, it's talking about the angels and about, I want to be one that is found worthy to taste the powers of the age to come. That is resurrection life. That's what it's talking about in Luke 20, resurrection life and power that is available to us. And we're going to see more and more of the coming weeks, something, something rising up and it's going to be a, a message from God and it's going to be a message right globally about life and the spirit of life and resurrection power we're going to start seeing more resurrections happening physical resurrections happening we're going to see like new life spiritually as well we're going to see a whole tide like people being swept into the kingdom of God I am so excited so I just want to encourage you to prepare your heart get your heart ready but prepare yourself what do you need to do what do you need to change in your life don't you know throw away your self-help books that's not going to help you we've got to reckon ourselves dead so don't use this time you know and I'm thinking about fasting if you can and you want to do join a fast with us whether it's giving up food giving up you know chocolate giving up whatever it might be just for these few weeks and I know many of us have given up stuff already because we're in full-on lockdown here in Wales so it feels like there's nothing much left apart from nice food but maybe this is a good opportunity to say Lord I want to give you my life but don't try and do it you know it's not in our own strength it's not trying to you know force God to do something it's when we fast it's not trying to better ourselves we cannot do it we cannot do it we have to reckon ourselves dead and just like Galatians 2 20 where we say Jesus I died with you you come now into my body into my being and live your life through me that's the resurrection power and life that we're going to see manifest as God is raising us up in these days but don't raise yourself up let him raise you up you've got to position yourself so please do join us if you want to to join us with the fast um, I've made some notes and I keep like trying to look at them but um, there's so much I want to say and I'm I haven't got time to say it so I think what I'm going to do is some more videos over these next few weeks until Easter particularly and just to encourage us so um, do make sure you're following you know uh, subscribe or follow whatever you need to do to keep watching these videos um, and what I'm going to show you now is there's a video that me and Rob did just a few years back on fasting that might help you I've just what I've done is I've edited the video down because it's just one of our you know we've got this whole library of um, instant access videos videos on demand on our portal so this is one of those videos but I've edited it down just I've got a five minute segment of that and I'm just gonna put it in now for you to watch and hopefully that's gonna help you just to think about fasting um, getting yourself ready before the Lord and really just let him position you let him speak to you over these coming days, these coming weeks and months. 
and we are so excited this really is this is i'm calling it the easter uprising it's a heavenly invasion it's an uprising of the sons of god that's you and me whether you're male or female and we want to partner with god we want to partner with heaven so watch out for the angels um, partner with them it's fine for you to communicate with them i'll be talking about that more in the next few weeks um so I think that's all I need to say and um, just be encouraged. I want to speak hope. I want to speak life over you in the name of Jesus and get ready for an Easter uprising, resurrection, power and life globally, wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy that. Be blessed. If you're new to fasting, watch what happens as soon as we tell someone that we're having a fast. That's right, it's hard not to feel just a little self-righteous. God is revealing our pride already and we haven't even started yet. We need to let the Holy Spirit do his work. One thing you'll notice pretty quickly is that our days are naturally punctuated by meal times. We talk of lunch break, but now we're fasting, it's just a break. The obvious way to use these times is in devotional prayer. Prayer and fasting combined together in a very powerful way. In Matthew chapter 9, we read that at that time, John's disciples came to Jesus and asked, Why is it that we and the Pharisees fast so often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus answered, How can the guests of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them? But the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast. Now Jesus often spoke in parables of how his kingdom would be like a great banquet thrown by a king. But there would be a time when he was not physically with us. A time when we would look forward to his return to earth in glory. Of course, Jesus said that it would be better for us if he went away so that he could send his Holy Spirit. And his purpose is that we should be a glorious and overcoming church. But there's a strong thread in scripture that encourages us to long for the return of Jesus. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. It's how the Bible ends. He who testifies to these things says, yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come Lord Jesus. Now hopefulness is a keynote of fasting. It looks forward to a brighter day when Jesus makes all things new. So when it comes to our soul garden, perhaps fasting more than any of the other disciplines is going to make us face up to the more unpleasant jobs around the garden. You see, just when we thought the garden was looking lovely and fruitful, our Father God is going to put his finger on those areas which we'd rather ignore. He's going to prune us back so that we can walk in more freedom and revelation of who he is in us. If we allow God to deal with us in these times of secret honesty and vulnerability, we'll find that we're able to be more honourable 
to Jesus in public. Through fasting, we're able to be filled with a deeper reliance on God and walk in a proven trust. It empowers us to live an overcoming life that roots us deeper into the soil of God, a life filled with the abundance of heaven. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, here I am.